Hi, I'm Milesy, and welcome to another art video. This one was kind of a disaster to do, I'm not gonna lie, and part of that, most of that really was because of the size of the frame that it was in, and you can see early on here where I was really struggling to actually find a good way to film it because the frame is like 18 inches tall and really not meant to go in my stand, and it was just kind of a nightmare. Most of the time when I do filming like this, I'll go for about two or three hours at a time, but because I was having to reach so far forward to do these top bits, most of my video clips for this lasted like 45 minutes. I wasn't able to even make it a full hour for most of my sessions, so this thing took a long time to do, and that's not even counting the first three pages that I'd already done because... If you might remember, a few weeks ago I did a video on all of my works in progress, and this is one of them. So that's what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to finish those works in progress. Maybe not all of them, because, I don't know, some of them I just don't really like anymore. But this one I really wanted to do because it was the very first pattern I ever made for myself. It wasn't made for anybody else in mind. I wasn't going to give it away. I didn't really have any plans to sell the finished thing. I just wanted to do this for myself. And I think that really comes across in how it was put together because you can see in the clouds, I think especially, how there's not really a whole lot of blending between the colors. It's just here's the gray, here's the blue, here's the tan. And it got to a certain point while I was working on this that I realized I don't really like that. It doesn't look very good. Because since then I've figured out better techniques for making patterns. And that was one of the really interesting things about doing this piece. Because I started this when I first started making patterns and I put it down for years. So this is a very, very old piece. Um, probably at this point about almost four years old at this point. So yeah, it's pretty old and I've learned a lot. And that was something that I really noticed uh, working on this was I actually got to see how I've changed things, how I've started doing things differently. And for the most part, it was like, hmm, I wonder when I started doing it this way. And every now and then it was like, why did I start doing it this way? This is stupid. The old way was better. So it was like, it was a really interesting learning experience, I guess, just to go back to something that was that old and try to finish it. And one of the things that I was doing on this one originally that I don't do anymore is that I was using whole stitches and I was using 14 count Ada. And I don't do either of those things anymore because I just don't. I don't like 14 count Ada. It's too big and you need too much floss to really get any decent coverage. And I don't really do whole stitches on full coverage pieces just because it literally doubles the amount of time that it takes. So this took a lot longer to finish than I thought it would. I started working on this back in, oh, probably February, I think, and it's now the end of May and I've just finished it. So I didn't expect it to take that long, but part of that was also because it was too big and it physically hurt to work on it. So. I really don't like to do vertical pieces, and that's why. I also don't like to do vertical pieces just because they're terrible to frame, and I have to do horrible things to the sides, but otherwise you guys would see all my iPad and my phone and everything off to the side that you don't really need to see or want to see and would just be really distracting. So hopefully this works, but I'm going to try to do fewer vertical pieces like this in the future just because they're kind of terrible to frame. But one of the things that I noticed working on this, because when I started this, I was using my mother's incandescent yellow lights in her house where everything was kind of yellow. So working on this now, several years later, under my natural light setup, because I've got a whole bunch of full spectrum lights in my room so that I can really see what I'm doing. When I started this, I didn't realize how much purple there was in it. There's a bunch of purple in the sky. There's a bunch of purple in the hammer. And the rock that it's on, it looks really brown, but it's nothing but pink and red and purple. And that really surprised me. For some reason, I didn't notice that when I was putting it together and apparently didn't notice it on the page. So that was actually kind of surprising, but I think it looks good overall. I mean, I have definitely changed how I do the 
patterns, like I said. And one thing that I really wish I could fix, but there's really no way to do it, is because there was such a long gap in between when I started it and when I finally picked it up to finish it again, you can start to see there's a little bit of a straight line in between the middle pages and these bottom ones here where the color on the hammer just gets a little bit darker. It was more blue on the skeins that I was using previously and now I'm apparently on a different dye lot or the thread's older or something, I don't know, but now it's a little bit more red and you can kind of see that across the entire bottom, which is a little unfortunate, but there's not a whole lot I could do about that, unfortunately. And these rocks here, I remember when I first made this pattern, looking at the rocks and just how it wasn't solid patches of color and seeing that and just being so scared going, oh my goodness, that's going to take forever to do. And it did take a while because there was a lot of confetti, but it's just really interesting, I think, to go back on something and see something that was intimidating to me several years ago, but now is just no big deal. And even at a few places toward the end, I was just so tired that I kind of improvised my way out of it and stopped doing confetti really as much as the page called for and just started going, eh, these are all kind of gray and did that, but I can't even find where I did that, so it works, whatever. But yeah, it turned out pretty good, I think, overall. Uh, probably would have done some things different with it. I know I would have done some things different with it, but yeah, I like it, I think. But I'll leave you here to watch this last little bit. And there we go. It's kind of enormous, as you can see. Um, I actually had a really hard time getting it in the frame, but it worked in the end. And I think in person, the line across the kind of middle there, you can't even really see it. So that works out. But yeah, it was about 50 hours, so a little bit less than I thought it was. But in the end, I'm pretty pleased with it. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe so that you can get them in your inbox. And make sure that you like and comment because that really helps me out. But I will leave this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!